I just remember significantly that God gave me this message um, or this idea, this theme that he wanted me to write about and communicate and share. And it was this idea of his great expansive love ruling the earth um, for eternity. And I just could not shake that thought, that that image, that message, and I just felt compelled to write about it and somehow include it on the EP. Um, and I wasn't really sure how, but it came together very quickly um, and it ended up being, I think, a real key message on the EP. I felt like God said to me during the recording and the writing process, hey, I'm not finished yet, I'm not ready for you to put the EP out, I've just got one more thing left for you to do. I ended up going to Rachel and going, hey, look, I've got this this idea for, for, for a song. I've got this idea that I think is pretty good. I shared the song with Rach and um, well, suffice to say, we ended up including it on the EP, which was, which was pretty awesome. Um, I also remember that Rachel really helped me decide on the title of the song. I remember also being super unsettled on it. I wasn't sure if that was the right fit or if that, if that was what I wanted to call it, but um, she basically said that's what it's going to be called. And so without further ado, we called it Love Rain Forever. I'm particularly proud of the lyrics in this song that God dropped into my heart, especially in the verse. and. I think they're super strong in what they're trying to convey. Um, in particular, the lyric, there's no place I can run or hide where you can't change my life. It's, it's the essence of the song in how God has this desire for us to live our life in freedom and in total surrender and um, an understanding how much He loves us, how much He wants to see us succeed. Um, and know that we're loved and an understanding that His grace is abundant and reaches so far and, and so wide that we just, even if we try to avoid it, even if we try to, to find a place to hide, even if we feel like we can do without it for, for a period, I know in my life God's always, I guess, reached down and corrected my path in, in some way, shape or form and really helps me move in a certain direction. I know God like allows us to um, make our own decisions and our own choices. Um, and as I said, I know personally from, from my walk and from my journey in my life, any time I really felt like maybe I can do without God's permission on a certain thing, maybe I can make it on my own. but. At the end of the day, like for me, it's never been in my own strength that I've made things happen or it's never been in my own own strength that I've, I've found peace or I've been able to, to do certain things. It's always been his, his strength and his peace that's settled in my heart. I hope people who hear this song are super encouraged, particularly if Maybe your understanding of God's love is a real challenge for you to comprehend or understand at this point. Um, wherever you're at, whatever you're facing, whatever, whatever you're doing, um, I, I pray that you would allow, when you hear this song, that would remind you to allow His love to rule forever in your heart because it's very much a love that is worth knowing. Yeah, the song Love Rain Forever that Craig wrote, it's a great song. And there's a lyric that really always sticks in my mind. It's the end of the second verse and it says, there's no place I can run or hide where you can't change my life. And yeah, I think it's so important um, to really understand the power of God to change a life and to change a heart. I've seen so many stories of people who have been miraculously healed by God, miraculously had their hearts softened and changed. And, you know, by, by nature as humans, you know, we are, we're, we're flawed, we're not perfect. And there's things in our life that, that we do struggle with. And I know personally for myself, you know, forgiveness and, um, and anger and 
unforgiveness rather and anger. Um, they're things that I really do struggle with and, and fear and anxiety. And they're things that I, that I don't want to have in my life. They're not things that I chose to struggle with, but by nature, they're things that I find really hard. But the thing that I find hope in is that with the power of God and the power of the Holy Spirit working in me, I know that God can bring healing to those areas of my life. I know that no matter how far away I run from Him in fear or shame, that there's no place that I can run where He's not able to reach me. He's not able to help me. He's not able to bring the healing and the strength that I need. So yeah, for me, that lyric really just speaks to the power of God to change someone's heart and to change someone's mind. And look, there may be people out there that have got really hardened hearts towards God and, and they may be going, well, like, why should I trust God after all the horrible things that have happened to me or all the things that are going on in my head? And, and you know, I get that. This world is a really scary place and there's sin in the world. And again, people are flawed. No one's perfect. But I really do believe that God has the power to show you his love and show you his goodness and to bring healing into those areas of your heart that are hardened and to really do a work, a miracle in your work that only he can do. And the other thing about that lyric about there's no place I can run or hide, um, it just reminds me of scriptures where it talks about, you know, that there's no place that God's love can't reach you. And for me, I know that when I struggle with these sins and these things in my life, there's a temptation to run. There's a temptation to, sh to feel ashamed that I'm not strong enough, that I can't beat those things, that I struggle with negative thoughts, that I struggle with unforgiveness and anger and frustration. Um, but what I love is that there's a picture of a God who no matter what you've done and no matter what you, you will do or what you're feeling, His love is always there and it's always reaching out to you. And He's just waiting patiently for the sheep to come home to the shepherd. He's not an angry God that is sitting up there judging you and many people would think that He is, but I know from the mercy that God's shown in Jesus in giving His own Son for us and on the cross, it's mercy is extended to us and he loves us so much and it says in god's word you know god demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners christ died for us we can trust him with our with our flaws we can trust him with our sins and we can trust him with our lives and our hearts to bring change and growth and healing in us and we can trust that he loves us no matter what is going on and no matter what we do, His love reigns forever. It's always there. It's always reaching out to us. And we don't have to feel ashamed or afraid of what we've gone through and what we are going through and who we are because He loves us where we're at and He promises to, to extend His hand and meet us where we're at and bring exactly what we need. I see.